Covering news that matters. Fox 23 News at 530 starts right now. Thanks so much for joining us at 530. I'm Shay Rozzi. And I'm Nathan Thompson. Monarch butterflies travel through Oklahoma every year, but lately we're seeing fewer of them than ever before. Tulsa's investigative reporter Jana Clark looks into why and what you can do about it. So this right here is milkweed. Aaron Walton Scarlet grows this plant at his South Tulsa um, home. Seed. It's even growing on its own in every crack it can find. So these are all just naturally from seed. Where there's a will, there's a way. Aaron these shares seeds. the seeds. That's how tiny they are. With people who will plant them in their own yard. It's called milkweed. Aaron plants them for a reason, to try to save monarch butterflies that he's studied for years. I've always loved butterflies. The milkweed plant is a monarch's home from start to finish. It's called the host plant. They have to have milkweed. And when we kill milkweed, we kill butterflies. So they live and grow on this plant and they'll actually eat this plant, right? They eat all of it, yeah. They'll eat the whole thing. I mean, as much as they want. The milkweed plant is where a butterfly lays its eggs on the bottom of a leaf. An egg hatches into a caterpillar. Each one eats a ton of the milkweed leaves. Then it builds a chrysalis and hangs for a couple of weeks. Then the metamorphosis. Before long, a monarch butterfly emerges. Each year, monarch butterflies take an incredible 3,000-mile flight across North America. Most start their journey in Mexico. They cling to these trees. It's an insane sight to see. They weigh these trees down. They spend the winter in Mexico to stay warm, then migrate to Oklahoma in the spring. When it starts to heat up here, the monarchs fly north toward Canada to cool off. Then in the fall, they come back our way before going back to Mexico again for the winter. So historically in Oklahoma, we've been able to see monarch butterflies twice a year in the spring and fall. But that has changed. Over the past 10, 15 years, we've noticed a giant decline. We've lost about 80% of our migration that goes from Mexico to Canada every year and vice versa. Do you remember you, you used to see them and now you don't? Yeah, I, I remember probably 20 years ago or so driving down I-44 and running into monarchs. There were hundreds of thousands in the air. Um, last year I saw two. Marcy Hawkins, a conservation specialist with Monarch Watch Oklahoma, says monarch butterflies are crucial because, like bees, they're pollinators. They need to be able to take the pollen from one flower to another or you have no fruits and vegetables. What's the reason for the decline in the monarchs? So there's two reasons, herbicides and pesticides. If cattle eat milkweed, it can make them sick. So farmers hate it, so they spray their crops, right, and try to kill it. Aaron says it also matters what people spray in their backyards. The herbicide is what people know Roundup. It's glyphosate. That kills every plant known to man, including the milkweed. Milkweed is what is necessary for the monarchs to survive. The monarchs will lay their eggs on the underside so that it protects it from the sun and elements. The reason the monarch butterfly has to have milkweed. It has a latex in it that's poisonous and the monarchs have to lay their eggs on the milkweed. When the caterpillars hatch, they start eating this latex and they become poisonous themselves. So when an animal eats them, they get sick to their stomach and they're less likely to eat them in the future. It's a common defense. That's why Aaron says it's so important to plant milkweed, specifically those native to Oklahoma, like the swamp milkweed. This is a native variety right here. Once you plant it, it will reseed and grow again each year. This comes up from its, uh, just from the roots. You should also plant other bright colored flowers near the milkweed. Monarchs are attracted to three colors, red, yellow, and green. So you attract them with the flowers, and then they land on the milkweed, they lay their eggs, and as the caterpillars grow up, they eat the latex that's poisonous, and that makes them poisonous. Which is a good thing. Yeah, they're trying to save themselves, and we're destroying them. Is it possible to fix it? It's hard to say. It's possible, but it would take a collective effort. Marcy says if you see a monarch... Take notice. You don't realize its story. And if you are seeing it right now, its story is that it is a survivor. In South Tulsa, covering news that matters. Jana Clark, Fox 23 News. We learned Gathering Place has been working to plant native milkweed in the park. They want to help support the monarch butterfly migration here in Tulsa. They plan to highlight the butterflies when they migrate through in the fall. Do you have a tip or issue that you think Jana Clark should investigate? Let us know. Email fox23investigates at fox23.com or call 918-388-5354 or search Fox 23 Jana Clark on Facebook.